What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here. And Dontavian Wicks might be the Packers' most impressive rookie through five weeks. He's leading in a lot of advanced metrics when it comes to separation. According to one person, he has the highest success rate against man coverage in terms of separation. He's way up there in PFF's raw separation grade with the likes of Diggs, with the likes of Jamar Chase, ahead of guys like Justin Jefferson and Devontae Adams. Yet he only has seven catches for 95 yards and a touchdown to this point. So why is that? Well, obviously guys like Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, they have seniority, right? They've got more experience, so they're going to be out there more than Wicks. But I think at this point, with the offense struggling, might want to put the most reliable guy out there, the guy who's getting the most separation, and that is Dontavian Wicks. So let's dive into the film room and take a look at how good Wicks has been to this point, analyze his game, and we'll talk outlook at the end. Off to the film room to take a look at Tay Wicks. All right, guys, here we go into the film room, taking a look at Dontavian Wicks through five weeks. You're going to see a lot of separation on film, just telling you that already. But he, he just does so much for an offense, and, and you're going to see what we mean by that. We're going to start at Chicago, uh, right here at the bottom of your screen. Right, again, a little bit of an outside release, right? Get towards the defender to kind of open up options for yourself. But again, a really nice violent cut in the ground out of that release, and, and really good suddenness and explosiveness off that plant foot to get into the route. And really, there's enough separation to throw this ball. Really, the only reason this, this kind of gets derailed a little bit is because of Edmonds here kind of getting Wicks kind of off his route just enough to allow Stevenson to catch up. Because otherwise, I think if that hesitation wasn't there, there's potential for a touchdown for Dontavian Wicks in week one. Okay, so the touchdown to uh, Romeo Dobbs here at the bottom, Wicks is open here too. The safety is going to be responsible for Wicks, and what Wicks does a great job of is stem to the inside, Work straight at the safety. Give yourself an option of inside, outside. You right. You have your two-way go here set up for you. Watch the right foot. Violent plant at the top of the route and wins to the corner easily. Look at how much separation he generates. Right defender was kind of looking. That love was looking the other way, but he was open here for a score as well. So two potential touchdowns we're looking at early with, with Wicks here against Chicago. And... Again, you see him against some soft press coverage, right? Little release to the outside. And what does he do? Really good. Swiping the hands, getting through contact, not letting contact disrupt his route or the timing of his route, right? We're open again here. This is open on a glance route, skinny post, whatever you want to call that. It's there, right? Love throws to the other side of the field and a nice comebacker to read. It's just a little late and inside. But again, Wicks finding himself open when he needs to get open bottom of your screen right again good job getting through contact early in the stem it's not disrupted now this glance route is picked up well by Tremaine Edmonds but what I like about Wicks here is again a lot of young receivers do this they jump they kind of just run into uh defenders in against zone coverage where they think okay I just need to run my route like I'm not really concerned about my route depth or or my route positioning relative to the zone coverage. Wicks doesn't do that. Look at him just kind of like, all right, I'll fight kind of for positioning here against you instead of just running into you, right? Because it's it's definitely something young receivers do a lot. Okay, bottom screen here. Right, really simple one. Where again, pad level's low. Everything needs to be vertical until it isn't. Really nice flexibility here. And we'll kind of just rewind it just a hair. Just want to show right there. Look at how flexible, drop the hips into the route break, efficient route break, separation at the top of the route. That's there if Love wants to throw it. Doesn't end up doing so. Similar thing, right? Later in the game, you get a dagger route concept, really, per se, vertical, and then the dig. Watch what Wicks does on this, right? It's an adjustment, right? We see zone coverage again. We got Edmonds turning, so what does Wicks need to do? He's got to be able to work to space. Great job bending this route off and immediately sensing, okay, linebacker's going to jump into the space if I keep running right into him. So how about I just break this off and work in front of him? Right, Love gets pressured, isn't able to make a throw, but this is a really nice adjustment against zone coverage to give, to give Love a window to throw it and give yourself a window 
to be opportunistic and 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 really win some favor at the catch point. As a blocker, he does it. He he is willing and able, right? Step up and get brisker here on a run, engage and drive him into the end zone. Right, really nice rep there from Wicks. Okay, touchdown to Aaron Jones. We know we know what happened down here, right? Winning this Texas route. How about up top? Wicks does a good job. One getting in the way without any OPI whatsoever of, of no running the defender over, just get in the way so Reed has an opportunity to win underneath. But also, what I really like about this is again sinking the hips into the route break, but use your hands at the top of the route to generate a little separation for yourself. And he does that there, right? You can commit OPI in this league. Is it fair to defenders? No, but if everybody's going to do it, don't be behind the eight ball. Do that. So good usage of the hands there at the top of the route. Again, up top here, blocking, right? Engages, fights for positioning, right? And get a defender on the ground. Now, ideally, it's out of the play, so Dylan doesn't have to hop him, but we'll take getting a defender on the ground any day of the week, right? That's, that's really good. Bottom of your screen here, split release, right? Urgency into the stem, combative with the hands right there at contact, right? Use your hand to extend. He does get grabbed a little bit here at the top of the route, but love good anticipatory throw through the break point. Good hand technique. Way to get your hands back in and, and make a tough catch against a man coverage. You're going to see it just on the outstretched part of the screen here. Again, using your hands, right? Generate some separation at the top if you can. Gets complete jersey tug here. But again, good job. He's not. Some of the stars do this, right? Where they get tugged to the jersey, they're immediately flailing their hands, looking for the flag. It's like, okay, Wicks did that, but get your hands positioned for a catch and a tough one over the middle of the field. Okay, you know, blocking, it's just kind of getting in the way of Calais Campbell, perhaps, right? Don't let him backside pursue. Any way you can get it done. Offensive linemen do that. So that's, that's fine by me with Wicks there. This is really nice. It's good route tempo, right? We're going to, we're going to, rewind this just for your viewing pleasure here okay really nice slow tempo to squaring up and gaining ground and then boom explode off that left foot right this is good explosiveness out of that break now does he have extremely good explosiveness and speed to to maybe even and leaving right that that term does he have that ability no right he's not going to leave when he's even but there's enough there to maintain what little separation he did generate on the route and it's there near touchdown why wasn't it a touchdown well we nice we get to slow this ball down a little bit oh looky here Terrell sticking a hand in and uh that's pi folks wicks has to basically one hand that if he's going to make the catch so again little pi gamesmanship there going on uh in this game but wicks does a good job of winning that fade route against Again, a premier young corner in the league. Okay, so this is really nice, right? This is the touchdown. You get this motion, right? We're going to kind of basically run to the post-ish to clear out this, this dig route that's going to trail Dobbs from Wicks. What I don't like is the pad level's not down. We are straight up in the air. Kind of just, I think this is just maybe him thinking, thinking, okay, where do I get to to get to this dig route rather than I'm pressing vertically? I'm not going to tip my hand with the pad level. Because he's definitely upright here. This isn't a full speed route that he's running. But defenders open to the sideline. We can work with this, right? Stay efficient. Drop the hips. Good flexibility into the break. He's got an arm out stretched if he's good if he needs to get through any contact at the top of the route. Enough separation. This is a good throw by love into a, you know, not the biggest window in the world. Right? Good contact balance through a tackle attempt, and then take advantage of a guy who doesn't always want to tackle and takes some pretty poor angles. So through the catch point, right? Good contact balance. Get your feet in the ground immediately to press, you know, vertically or horizontally, however you want to work after the catch and make the safety miss who kind of lazily worked up to you. We'll take the touchdown any way we can get it. Okay. Top against Terrell again, right? Here we go. Vertical press. This is much better pad level, right? And we're working, pressing vertically to kind of get this, Defender to press vertically with us so we can snap this off and work the crosser. Good route break. But again, he doesn't have quite the speed, right? Terrell's able to catch up with him here. But that top of route separation is what we're more focused on 
uh, with Wix than anything else. Wow, look at that release, huh? How about this one? Really quick. Split, right? A little bit to the outside to get the defender to jump out there. Use your hands to get through the route. And boy, like we're already in a phenomenal spot here, right, with this route. The defender is completely out of position, right? Now, this isn't really designed for him, but I like this too, right? You're, you're working the post. But whatever you can do to get the defender moving in the direction you don't want him to move... Again, heads, shoulders, everything pointed the other direction through the break point. We like that a lot, right? That will play. That type of attention to detail will certainly play. Okay, bottom of your screen. Love this. Widen to get the corner outside of this inside leverage. Widen, widen. Wait till he's opened up and crossing his feet. He did for a second there. And then, boom, violent cut. Open on the slant route if he wants it, right? Love gets pressured, so he's flushed and it doesn't work, but... Great process for Wix again. Here we go. This is really nice, right? Pad levels down. Everything's vertical until it's not. Boom. Really nice break. Efficient break on the speed turn. Easy pitch and catch. Gave Love a big window to throw it to him. We're not going to be perfect, right? Separation percentage, even in raw count, is, is not 100%. It's never going to be, right? So this, I, I like the process here. It's just, again, shuffle release. We're gaining ground right to the outside. But he just gets held up, right? He was late to the hand swipe. That inside hand by the corner disrupts the route, gets him off balance. And it, it's a good rep by 27. Don't get it twisted. It's, it's a very good rep from him. But again, Wix just needs to be more cognizant of, okay, in, in you know more of a soft-ish press coverage look, got to be ready with the hands to combat anything coming my way once again really nice release get the foot in the ground easily now we're ready right now we're ready for for this for this contact bit work through contact watch this break watch how quick the break is boom we're in and out right it didn't take maybe more than a yard and a half to decelerate and then work out of the break there a little bit of space to work with you know for a guy who can can really you know Generate a ton of velocity like love. That's that's possibly enough. So obviously this one you get Reed coming over the middle and nobody's covering this area of the field. The middle of the field is wide open, right? We got two saves up top, so it's likely going to happen, right? Because we get Musgrave getting uh, Demario Davis out of the picture. But I, what I really like is, you know, Wicks isn't okay. Well, he knows Reed might be getting the target, but you can never be certain, right? Give your quarterback options. Wix does that, right? He's This is not a great spot to be in. you got defenders keyed in on love. They can jump this. Where do you go? Oh, just work to the middle of the field, right? Really nice zone awareness there, even though the ball is not coming his way on this one. Okay, uh, not the best rep here. I'm not sure what the call is. It could be slant and, and flat. It could just be work to the pylon, give the opening for Reed on basically a stick near the goal line. I don't know. What I do know is we cannot get congested here on this ball that Love is, I believe, throwing to Reed. Right? Reed had to make an adjustment. He had to go a little bit around Wicks and the defender because Wicks is there and we don't get a touchdown out of it. So just, again, when press comes to shove a little bit there, be prepared to be more combative off the line of scrimmage, right? And make sure we got the route spacing that we need for a play like that to succeed. Once again, I just I love how crisp the release is and how how explosive he's off that plant foot when he when he gets into, you know, pressing into the stem. Look at he's wide open on this glance route if it's there. Love throws this instead to the corner route to Reed, but this is this is open. This is NFL open. He's given the window to Love to throw that to him. That could have been a really really big play. Okay, so a little bit more of soft press, right? This isn't really the combative nature of it, but we'll take the slant route any way we can get it. There's enough room to throw this, like I said, NFL open, right? Matthew's going to close on it, so you got to be prepared for contact. So good catch, and then again, contact's there. Nice win on the slant route. We'll take that any day. Okay, against Detroit, and you, you'll see now, right, the snaps are decreasing a little bit. Obviously, this is because, you know, nine's in, right? We, we got nine back. It's nice to have him. Okay, so... 
kudos to Brian Branch for this disruption here, basically on 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 this concept because now we're just out of sorts, right? You get a little bit of congestion through the breakpoint for Wix, so it's a little out of sorts here, right? Love is looking this way to throw this, but again, Branch. Really good job on this. We got to work a little bit, maybe more route depth on this, right? Recognizing how deep the linebackers are dropping. Because obviously Love now has to pull it down and, and potentially run or get this out to the check down. So just again, the zone awareness is there. Just work on the route depth on these dig routes against sinking linebackers. I think it's like one of the biggest potential critiques. So run play to Dylan here. Uh, Newman loses to Hutchinson. That really hurts the play, but good job by Wicks down blocking Anzalone. His responsibility there, right? Again, drives him on the down block, takes him out of the play, and gives Dylan, right, the ability to kind of find the escape patch and bounce it out, right? He is a good run blocker, and that's, you know, that's important in this offense. So plenty of off coverage here. We got basically cover three, right? Boom, middle field is closed. And we got corners sinking way back. So slant route for Wicks here, and I really like what he does. I don't know if Love anticipates that Wicks is just going to run this route into the defenders, but he doesn't, right? He sinks, and he waits for a throw. Really good zone awareness on this play. Don't just run your route into the defenders. So I, I just the process is so, so good with this guy. So he did this against Atlanta once, but I wanted to highlight against Vegas, obviously, but because he was out there, believe it or not, for this game. Uh, take care of the end man. That's good enough. We got to get execution the rest of the way, though. Taking that guy to play is what his job is, and he does it, right? Be important as a run blocker. Once again, you saw this against New Orleans, right? This is really good pad level, right? We're pressing vertical, vertical, vertical until it isn't. The efficient break of the speed turn and an easy pitch and catch late in the game. Got to have it. Got to get some momentum for a drive. So Wix is doing so many things well as a, a, a route runner, whether it be against man or zone, right? He's got the release, the route running ability, the violent breaks at the top of routes. He's using his hands for the most part, right? You see some, some hiccups there and again, but like against man coverage and zone coverage, he, he's doing all the right things and he's working his butt off as a blocker too. Like you can't ask for more from Dontavian Wix. So now it's up to Matt LaFleur to realize that Wix is doing all of this stuff really well, right? And get him on the field for more snaps. I get it, right? Dobbs is got a lot of chemistry with Love. Watson's a big play threat. He can't leave the field when he's healthy. And Jaden Reed, you like a lot. And he had, you know, he's had some good games as well. But Wicks right now is like potentially your best separator on the team. He's giving windows for Love to throw to him. It's it's now or never. Let's let's see Wicks get a little bit more uh, more snaps on the field and. He can show off that he can be an effective receiver. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on Dontavian Wicks. If you did, throw a like on there, subscribe, and you'll play more content coming soon. I will catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.